Uh, I just want to rise in support of this legislation. I do agree that we need to look at the uh, funding mechanisms and make sure we understand how this is, um, needs to be done, but it is a necessity. And as I was listening to um, the gentleman discuss the need for hospitals in rural parts of Kentucky, it felt very similar to the conversations I have at home. Uh, so I'm from the West End of Louisville, and a lot of people that haven't been to the West End don't realize how similar it is to Appalachia. It's a population of about 75,000 people. We don't have a hospital. We have a couple of health centers. Don't have a lot of infrastructure. And if you're using public transportation, it can take you up to two hours to get to the hospital if you need it. And we need to invest in our people. Because if we keep them healthy, that means they can be gainful. Employees, business owners, help our commonwealth thrive. So this is a moment where urban and rural communities can clearly stand because we have this in common and we have a whole lot in common. So I'm proud to make that connection and say I stand with the gentleman from Greenup and ask for your support. Question before the bodies passes of House Bill 387 as amended by House Floor Amendment 1. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, clerk will sound the chimes. Those in favor vote aye. Those opposed nay. And the roll call is open for your vote. If all members voted. Does any member wish to change or explain their vote? To recognize the lady from Jefferson 38 for explanation of vote not to exceed two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am explaining a yes vote. Um, this is a good bill in its own right, but part of what I want to say in, in explaining this vote is to say thank you to all of my rural counterparts who also voted uh, recently to save the jobs and secure the financial stability of the U of L acquisition. I could not, we could not, as a urban legislators have secured that funding on its own and I'm proud to support my rural counterparts today, so thank you.